rise of gaming okay video games is a huge industry okay 150 160 billion in revenue in 2020 by comparison the global movie industry made box office collection total is 41.7 billion while global music revenues are only 20 billion in 2018 2019 data is not available 2020 data is very less like 2020 is doing less than what we did in 2018 also so there's no point taking that into account but as you can see if you add the movie industry and the music industry and you double it still the video game industry is bigger can you imagine how much bigger it is there are 2.7 billion gamers in the world out of which 2.6 billion play on mobile devices most of them are playing on mobile devices and 38% are paying remember it's a big number out of that 2.6 billion people 38% people in 2020 have paid while playing the game in made various forms but they paid the paid users are 38% very high number and almost 100 million play from high end consoles that's also a big thing right 100 million people playing from high end consoles okay most people are shocked to realize how much bigger an industry gaming is when compared to movie or music but this is a reality and it's only going to stay these are early days the video game industry will become bigger and bigger compared to everything else so it's the biggest entertainment industry today video games okay even bigger than ott this is a dream sector for ip lawyers in terms of copyright trademark merchandising franchising brand ex- extensions and even patent related work there is all those high end game consoles computers i mean lot of computer uh, equipment high end at the level of uh, consumers is launched for gamers not for anyone else nobody else needs such powerful com- computers but gamers need and to you what kind of legal work is generated by the gaming industry right so if you want to be a video game lawyer or the gaming industry lawyer so what kind of work will you have okay one kind of work is that you might have patent related work on high end computer equipments uh, ar is alternative reality virtual reality technology registration of patent prosecution you know what is patent prosecution patent prosecution is your correspondence with the patent office right it can be uspto united states or j jpo japan patent office epo european patent office in india also your patent office so when you are trying to register a patent or you are objecting to somebody's patent or you know <coughs> opposition proceedings responding to opposition all of that is prosecution okay it's called uh, intellectual property prosecution or patent prosecution licensing deals right so you are you have you don't have a certain patent but it can enhance your product so you are paying somebody else for licensing that technology okay brand registration artwork registration infringement protection for different games characters story lines look and feel of a game merchandising deals so these are all kind of work that lawyers are doing for a game right various kinds of production contracts with writers these are contracts they you need a lot of contracts in the gaming industry production of uh, production contracts with writers music producers directors cinematographers game developers animators freelancers coders and everyone right okay representing professional gamers celebrity gamers brand ambassador deals because now you have you know gamers who are like heroes they are like treated like sachin tendulkar of of video gaming right so you have people who are on youtube and making millions of you know dollars from streaming their games on youtube and so on terms of service data protection privacy policy dealing with patent trolls trademark trolls licensing and adaptation deals right so these are different kind of work that you are doing when you are in that industry vetting of content legal compliance just like you know you had you know ott same things vetting of content legal compliances taxation of international income global because games sell internationally so taxation of international income many of the indian game makers they are targeting international markets global enforcement of ip rights making royalty claims for unauthorized use 
fantasy sports is another unmistakable and phenomenal opportunity fantasy sports is huge so you guys know about dream 11 right so dream 11 is uh, sponsoring the ipl it's so big how big just take a look at this gross revenues of online fantasy sports operators stood at 2400 crore in financial year 20 compared to 920 crore in financial year 19 up almost three times year on year according to the fifs kpmg 2020 report imagine how fast this industry is going and it's a big industry right 2400 crores it's like it's a huge industry